Hey everyone, it's Coach Kayla. I thought we could take a break from gymnastics and try to do some arts and crafts. I've come up with a lot of ideas for different crafts that you can make using things that you probably have around the house or things that you can improvise with something you do have at home. Um, not any of us are able to go to the store right now and get craft supplies uh, and it takes a while to order anything online and we don't need to waste the money. If we have many things at home that normally we might throw away or just not use, uh, we can actually turn those things into some really awesome ideas. So here is my first craft idea on how to make a parachute. So, you're going to flatten out your bag to where you can see at the bottom line where the bag is put together. That's going to be how you fold it and crease the lines. Hello kitty, you want to do some art with us? Make it as flat as you can. It's okay if it's not perfect. It probably will look really weird. And then... <laughs> And then, we're going to get that side that's all nice and bent. <laughs> Kitty! She loves playing with bags, so this probably isn't going to work. Okay, round two without cats. So, once you've got it folded, you will go to the side and just start cutting. Basically, we're going to cut this in half, so there's two flat sides. Go as slow as you need to, so that way you protect yourself. Taking one of those halves, you're going to cut out a big square. Next, you're going to cut off all four corners, turning our square into a sort of octagon. Then you're going to cut eight pieces of string that are all the same length. I'd recommend about 8 to 12 inches. Once you cut the corners off, you have an octagon. That means that there are eight sides and eight corners. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks a little funky from here, but that's just because we cut a plastic bag and not a piece of paper. So it's a little harder to see. From there, we're going to cut small holes just I you just use the tip of the scissor blade you can also just use your finger really if you wanted to you'll puncture holes on all the corners so one two three four five six seven eight then we're going to tie the string Tie the string just like that through those holes that you cut. I put in a double knot, but you don't we want to make sure that you don't tie it too tight, otherwise the bag will rip. So next we have to tie the bottoms of the string onto some kind of material that you can use to rest your objects, like a small figurine or a small stuffed animal or just anything. Um that I'm I'm gonna use a twist tie. Just one that I got off of an uh, electronic item. And it's going to be perfect because once the strings are on there, all I have to do is twist and tie this piece onto whatever I want to throw off of my couch. And finally, I finished tying all my eight strings onto that twist tie. 
Uh, I spaced them all out so they're pretty evenly distributed on the twist tie. That's going to help distribute the weight from the object that we're going to launch off my couch. So those were my first few tries in testing out the parachute that I made. Um, I'm very proud of how it turned out considering that was my first parachute that I've ever made out of a, a plastic bag. Um, but I definitely think that you all could do even better. I think you should try to experiment with different weights of the objects that you're flying in the parachute, the different kinds of plastic bags. Some of them are thicker, some of them are thinner, some are big, some are little. Even the different kinds of strings that you're able to use uh, with whatever you have at home. All of those factors are going to change how well the parachute works. Um, so give it a shot. I'd love to hear and see what you all come up with. Also, I had to show you how much my little kitten loved my parachute. 